M0FXB, you know me, always tinkering with different gadgets. This is a mini network radio. Uh, there's not, it's not touchscreen, it actually looks like a camera, doesn't it? It has a big RJ45 microphone and a GPS antenna, which I've undone at the back, and Wi-Fi antenna as well. DC input, good quality lead supplied, nice little speaker, and a sort of a camera type mount there. Now I thought I'd take it apart, see if I can find if there's an SD card in there. But um, it does hold two SIM cards, so it's f it's f is it 4G? I have to check. It's three or 4G. I think it is 4G. Now um, these these this model is sold with Zello included, um, but I wanted to add Peanut. I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to get it on there. I have used Total Control to uh, connect to it, so maybe I can somehow get the get the APK on that way because it Total Control did load the total control app on there no problem at all so i think it's doable but anyway look i've taken that screw out and that screw out there but the thing is solid i cannot get it apart you've got a micro connector there that's how i connected to my pc it's good quality product and it runs zello really well you navigate by and it takes a bit of practice i've made a couple of videos by going up and down and then right and left with these all these buttons and your main enter is the green and your back is the exit. The green also acts when you're on Zello, acts as a PTT, but it does come with a microphone and a nice quality microphone. Everything's good quality, everything's solid. The case is metal, it's not plastic, it's metal. I just cannot get it apart. Maybe there's a hidden screw. You know, I've taken off a couple of stickers, but I can't find a hidden screw. So if someone has ever taken one of these apart and I'll search around, let me know. Because I just want to see if there's an S if I can add some more memory to this. I mean, it's an Android device. It's running the Snapdragon 210 MSM8909. So I'm presuming having something like an SD card is pretty normal for an Android type device. I'll keep trying. So bye for now, but if I get the thing apart, but it does work really well. So keep trying. I haven't done, pulled the knob off. Literally just pulled that off. Taken off the gold ring just with some pliers there. And now we're starting to get some movement. I'm just, it's still a bit stiff, so I'm just being careful. All I want to know is, can I put an SD card in there? Okay, yeah, I just wiggled a bit and it has come apart. There is a ribbon there and some antenna connectors that you just need to be careful. Still can't see at the moment about an SD card, so... We'll uh, look a bit closer. And it's got this, which is marked as Wi-Fi antenna as well just popped in through that that hole there so but i think it's got an external one as well because on the back it actually says uh gps and then the other one's going to be wi-fi what else could it be which is good and the wi-fi worked great so really to get that ribbon off you just flip that gray bit up and this will just slide out which it did, it just lifts up and just just slid in like that way around. Okay, we'll have a closer look at that as well. So now you can see what we've got. Try and get some good focus. Now to see if there's a place to have a SD card, the only way I'm going to be really sure is to undo these four screws. One, two, three, four. I'll loosen that screw as well. And just lift it and just see if I can see a place. Okay, the four screws are out. Just small little silver screws, if you can just about see them in my hand and they went 
here, here, here and here. Remember I took this tab off, that's your Wi-Fi that came off of, of here. So there's the tab there and the Wi-Fi went through that hole. And now the whole thing is coming loose. So we don't want to pull it back too far. We've got a couple of antennas connected there. But the real thing I want to know is, is there a place to put an SD card? Now you can see the slot at the bottom for the SIM, SIM cards for your 4G. I'm look I cannot see so they've they they have sold they have added I would say storage you know on board storage because there's no way I can see a place to put an SD card there which is a shame they've got the antenna connectors GPS speaker connector there there's the speaker model they've used which works fine it's a bit tinny. I reckon that you could base it up without too much effort. But there's the board they're using. GT107. One of these chips is going to be the onboard memory, I would guess. Have a look. But it seems good quality, well made. You know, good construction in my opinion. Just a shame they decided not to add some memory. To put it back together, we'll put the four silver screws back in. One here and here. That's the first one. I've just made sure it sits nice and level. That's our four screws in. And we'll carefully just reconnect this tab here, which is a bit fiddly. So put it in there level and then fold down that gray clip, just be gentle. And then at the end, just the Wi-Fi tucks through, went through that, the hole where my, where my thumb is. There you go, that's in there. And then as we close this, we have to place the knob back in through there. And at the same time, we're going to just tuck in that Wi-Fi connector that's sticking out at the moment into that hole. That's it, tucked in. Push together, clip, just make sure there is a rubber grommet on the side that fell out. You need to just push that back in there. And I've put the, made sure the screws in, although I didn't really need to remove them. There's the DC input there. But I reckon that if it was slightly fatter, they could have put a battery in there. Okay, put the screws back in there. It was just like a star shape I used to get that out. Turn it round. Put the, the knob back on the ring. I'm just going to make sure it comes on a minute. Just hold that button down. You do have to hold it for it to come on. Yeah, that's all good. And get the antenna back on there as well. The Wi-Fi antenna. Just put that on here. And it should, in a second... Come back on and log into it should log into Zello as well lots of radios here in the background Looking out. give it a minute to sign in in there you are we're signed in now We choose channel one, menu, and then just go. Oh, I've got to need to plug the mic in, that always helps. You can actually use, this as a PTT, I don't know if there's a built-in microphone though. 
M0FXB, anyone hear me? Volume works great. Let's try again. M0FXB, anyone hear me? Okay, and then we'll grab the mic. Connector. I, mean, I think it's a fun little device. And, so, you know, about 80, 90 pound, I think. About 80 quid you'll get one. 80 pounds. Okay, let's try again. M0, M0 FXB test test. Oh, you can see my audio at the bottom was there then. If I unplug it, let's see, and I'd speak closer to it. M0, one, two, one, two. Yeah, you can see there's no audio there. Okay, that's fine. So that... So you... recognise UK G5MAP here. There you go, someone there. G5 MAP, very nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm, I'm tinkering around with this mini network radio. I just took the front off it, and uh, well, actually took it, took the back off it and, and the front to see if it had a SIM card inside, and it doesn't. But it was fun searching. Bye for now, seven three.